darkness fills my mind Seeps into my head Seems to pass the time Here it comes again Got nowhere to hide Never seems to end Joy so hard to find And a wave of self blowing overwhelms my sense of pride Never really knowing if you'll make it out alive Here it comes again I'm like a child that's lost To face another day Photography is a good way to express your feelings and capture things in the moment. Basically, people think that life is like okay and nothing is happening like around their, their life. But by showing pictures of what's really going on, basically can open people's eyes and maybe let them basically see what's going on, see if they can basically help help uh, the people that are basically struggling like, to open their, basically their mind. And photography is like to like, give people what happened in reality and how, can, how they could get infected by it. Mm, infected, yeah. Yeah, so they couldn't have time to like stop it or improve on it to make it much better. If anybody has doubts and you want to get through to them, you can show them a picture that you've taken and then they'll be like, oh, I, I see it now. So that's how you can use photography to communicate with people, to show them things that they didn't see themselves. We experiment with the camera, basically learning new things like how to put this uh, chain in the colours, the background, and basically taking basically one of the pictures. I remember about the, the pictures that I take and like how they told me to take it and stuff. That, would, that helped me a lot by taking it and telling me how to use cameras and stuff properly, much better. Did you learn to express yourself? Yeah, you? more. I learned to express myself more and like use like my ideas and stuff and like putting it on to a book or picture. The treasure hunts and just you're trying to look for the pit, right pictures to take at the right times and seeing the pictures go by and saying, oh, I can't believe I missed that. <laughs> yeah, that's what I remember the treasure hunts for me. They're just saying that people are just bad. They don't. Obviously people are doing certain reasons for different reasons, but they don't tell the reasons why they're doing it. They're just saying, oh, he's in the gang, he's just a bad person, but they don't know why he's doing it, how his life has been. They just tell how they see themselves. They don't go and talk to young people to find out why they're doing something, doing this and why they're doing that and that. They just say, okay, he's in the gang, that's it, he's a bad person, but... Yeah. In the news mainly, there's some of the newspapers I read, or when I look on TV, it's always about one of them getting stabbed or one of them doing stabbing or raping. It's never which one successful, where is he now, what he's doing now. Like, there are some successful young people. You just have to look for him. Don't look for the bad. The hood is different, like mostly every, every person that wears a hood is in a gang, really a gang. And really, and some, some people are some innocent, decent people that wear hoodies. It could be cold outside, like, and people wear hoodies. And like, that's the thing I don't like about the uh, media and stuff. Not because someone is in a hoodie, they think someone is in a gang or sh stab someone or shoot someone, especially the police. When they see you in a hoodie, like, if you like with your friends and you're in hoodies, they immediately stop you and said that. Like they made some fake applies, said that like there was a robbing or a shooting and they don't want to search and stuff. So I really think it's really bad for them to be thinking that kind of way.
it's actually helping. It can help people realise and show people they show people stuff and then they want to learn more and then they'll start to realise and then they'll understand how everything works and where the where they were going they can try and use the Volvo can try and make a difference in young people's minds by helping them to see stuff where the media's blinding them. Here it comes again through an open door. Okay, my name is that there's a lot of crime that's happening and there basically and that's the bit that I want to change basically to make it safe for my sister basically to make my name and safe for my family and my friends that lives around there so they may not be affected by the crime that's happening around there yeah. I, would, I would like to change, I'd like to stop all the violence because it's not nice to see a, a young person die because it could have been, it could have been brother, could have even been you. And you're thinking, if that was me, I, I'll have dreams. So that person must have had dreams of going around and doing something else. And all this violence is just distracting, and police are just provoking it even more. And I would like to change the police and so stop blaming the your kids and stuff. As they ask some decent questions. We're not making up lies about fake stuff that happened. It's just stop them and ask them questions and stuff. Putting them up and back in the vehicles for no apparent reason. Do the job properly and stop twisting the law. Here it comes again. Like animations and that's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna create my own basically animes. It's going to be cartoons and stuff like that. That's my passion for that. Since I was little, and I was still got a passion for it now. What is your favourite comic book? I would call cool book, uh, I'll say Black Rap and Hell. And, yeah. Is that your favourite superhero? Yeah. Why? Basically, it's just a normal person, basically. A human being that lost his parents and basically he's trying to help the city that he grew up in to become a better place for everyone to live in. And he doesn't have any powers to do it, he just has his own will and determination to do it. Yeah, I'd like to be a media design artist working in media and I'd like to get my own work up to a high point where I can get my own company and help other people that want to join the media as well, help young people that want to be get into the media and stuff, just to, so I can help out in the world. I mean, like I said, I just want to have, I want to do like computer engineering and stuff and after this, when I get like a little bit of money, I'm going to make like a, a charity to help kids in Africa and families and single moms so they can have, so they can have a better life for the kids and themselves. Because the government ain't helping, helping them. So we have to help each other. Yeah. That's why they're trying, that's why they don't mind us dividing and talking about this, our postcode. They don't really care. Yeah. They really care about the rich people now. Yeah, just they taking care of their own. The poor people. So we have to take care of our own. That lives in the council flats and stuff. They don't really care about us. Just make sure when you start, or you can find it in college, you can find workshops like this in colleges, anywhere, youth groups, like Catch 22. Make sure when you start you actually want to finish. You're doing this for a reason, just remember you're doing it for a reason and it will help you. You probably heard this a lot, but stay in school. And basically, if you are having problems here, don't keep it to yourself. Talk to people that can help you. and. Talk to your parents, um, don't just go and do it. If you need, if you do need money, save the money for yourself or ask your parents. And gang is not the only way. But if your friends are doing it, don't fool your friends, be yourself. Decide what's wrong and right for yourself. And basically, that's all I got to say. least of all myself and all that I enjoy. And a wave of self-loathing overwhelms my sense of pride 
Here it comes again. 